All right, so being outside did not work. It was way too bright. But I'm very happy that it's actually cooled down. And it's like that beautiful fall weather that I like. But anyway, okay. Let's get into this story. So I try, I start saying it, or I, like I did tell like a whole thing about, about, about the video. <sighs> Something went wrong with it, so I may have to upload it again. But basically somebody at work, a high up, kind of gave me attitude about something that had nothing to do with her. So, and um, when this happens, like I've had issues before, as, as you guys all know, and I always thought like, okay, there's something obviously wrong with me, like a personality flaw, something that people just don't like, and that's fine. Because not everybody's going to like you, right? Not everybody's going to like me, and I really don't care. But um, when it tries to affect my work, then I have problems, right? So, not that, if, but anyway, you know what I mean. So, I was thinking about it the other day, and I was like, I think I figured it out. So, as you guys know, or maybe you don't, I'm a custodian. And I'm starting to think that it's that where people think that they're better than somebody else because of what they do. And people, a lot, like society, everybody kind of looks down on the custodians. And it's funny because if you want to play a numbers game, um, in a lot of places, yes, custodians don't make a lot. But where and who I work for we actually make quite a bit of money. <laughs> so uh, we make more money than the EAs. So, which really boggles my mind because somebody that has to take care of children all day and children that have, um, you know, special needs at that get paid, oh my God, they're getting paid almost four to five dollars less than I get paid an hour. Like that's insane. But anyway, but that's what people think, like, that, you know, you're the bottom of the totem pole, right? Like, you don't deserve respect. You don't, And I've gotten this a lot in in my career. Like, people think you, they're better than you. They don't look at you. They won't talk to you, whatever. <sighs> really, I don't care. Like, and to be honest, most of the time I don't even notice it because... I don't think that way. Like, I will talk to everybody on an equal play. Like, I could care less if you're a doctor, if you're a custodian, if you're the garbage man. Like, I don't think that makes you any better than somebody else. So, I think a lot of times I don't realize it. Like, people will actually say it to me. Like, other people that I've worked with or whatever, they'll, they'll make a comment that somebody's being whatever, and I didn't even clue in that that's what was going on because it just doesn't, I don't process things that way. So anyway, I think that's why it's taken me so long <laughs> to clue into what's going on. So I think that's what this person's problem is. And I can actually see it because you can see the different way she, and I've noticed this bef like right from the get-go that she speaks to everybody very differently. Like if somebody comes in that's, um, a manager, a supervisor, or somebody that's a higher up. Like, she talks completely different to them than she does to anybody else. And I think that's her issue with me. And I think, and I don't mean to sound like bragging or boastful or whatever, but if she wants to play a numbers game or any of these people, my numbers game in my household can knock down most of these people. All right? Like... So if that, like, if she met me outside of school, she didn't know who, like, what I did, she would complete, treat me completely different if she just went to go by status, where I live, the numbers game would be a completely different thing. And another thing that probably maybe drives them crazy is that I, when I go into work, and I've actually talked to my brother-in-law about this because... Um, he does the same thing in Toronto. Um, and we've talked about how when we go to work, like we don't, we don't dress up, but we don't look like 
dirt bags when we go into work, right? Like we look good because there's no reason to look like, and I've always said this my entire life, like try to look presentable. Like you don't need to look like, like I just don't, I think everybody should try their best to look as best as they can. Now, that doesn't go for yesterday how I look because I was sick. So don't judge me. <laughs> but normally I try to be put together everywhere I go. And I like having my nails done. I like just looking good. And I think that might rub people the wrong way considering what I do, like what my job is. They're probably like, why would you look like that when you go to work? Why? Like clearly you, you're not working hard if your nails look like that. I've had that comment to my face before. And it's like, my work shows for itself. Sorry, come in. Everything is pristine. So I really I am starting to think that it's a status thing and that I'm not what they think that I should be, if that makes any sense. Because I shouldn't... I'm guessing to them, and actually I think my husband has said this to me before, like I shouldn't be driving what I drive being who I am, being a custodian. Like I shouldn't have nice things um, because of what I do. Does that make sense? And I think that is just so ridiculous because guess what? If people manage their stuff properly, they can. you can be working at a minimum wage job and have the finest of things because maybe they're great savers and they save up all their money so that they can have all these nice things. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter. And then I've known of people who make, I don't know, like hundreds of thousands of dollars a year who are in the toilet because they don't manage their money properly. Do you know what I mean? Like, so just because you think that you make more money or that you have a better title doesn't make you better than anybody else. And that's what I really... Think, and I'm not, like I said, not the sharpest tool to dead people, but it's taken me, like I've done this job for 10 years and I've run into it. I've known that like, but these last couple years where, because before I've always worked with groups of people, so it was kind of spread out more, but now I guess where I've been one-on-one, uh, -on -one, like it's, it's more noticeable, right? And, uh, it's pretty shitty. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... And then when I get pissed off, too, by the way, like, now I am. I'm a very, very nice person until you set me off. And then I find it very hard to be nice anymore. And that's what I'm going to have. Like, now I'm going to have an attitude, which doesn't help anything. And I know this, but, like, I can't control it. Because now it's like, you want to act like that to me? Then I can act that way to you. Because, sorry... Respect deserves respect. So uh, you can't give that to me. I can't give that to you. I'm sorry. And I guess that's a character flaw in me. But so now this is what when I go in, I'm going to try to avoid this person because the attitude, it's already there. It's already brewing like. <sighs> okay, calm down. Just go into my job and get the hell out of there and hopefully not have any interaction. But anyway, that's my new. That's what I think is going on. Let me know what you guys think. Do you do you think that, that it, maybe it's just me? Maybe I just come off as a bitch right from the get-go and people just don't like me. They don't like my face. I don't know what it is. But I really do strongly believe now that that's what it is. It's a power thing. It's a I'm better than you thing. And don't try to interact with me like we're on the same level, which is what I do. So, because um, that's what I think everybody's the same. We're all working, we're all paying our bills, raising our kids, we're all doing the same thing. But <clears throat> I guess that's not everybody's mentality. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'm going to head to work and I'll keep you guys updated on what's going to go on from here on out. Bye.